Okay, so hello, uh, we are Camila, Jan, and Yoma, and we will talk about um, inclusion and diversity in open source projects. So yeah, this number is a very small number, it's a very small percentage. Uh, this is uh, yeah, roughly the, the representation of women in open source projects, from ranges from various projects and various initiatives that we found in reports. And yeah, this is, of course, very low. Uh, for comparison, for example, in the normal tech industry, uh, it's roughly 25%. And the thing is that uh, with Nextcloud and also with open source in general, we have this ambition that we want to change the world and we want to make it better for everyone. And so we really think that uh, representation is key for that. So if half of society is so underrepresented, we can't really be innovative in, in a way that we really need to be. And uh, of course, yeah, gender is only one one part of that, uh, so there's other uh, underrepresented groups in that, and uh, yeah, that ranges from all these different things, and there's even more, and uh, it's also, yeah, even skill level or technical affinity, because, yeah, we're a very technical group, generally. And the thing is that uh, there's various studies, and yeah, you can read a lot, Harvard Business Review, McKinsey, and so on, that diverse teams actually work better, so they're more innovative, and also uh, the bottom line is better, so if you like money, it's a uh, pretty good also to have a diverse team, but it's also more innovative. And so uh, Camila is going to tell you a bit what uh, the reasons are or how we can uh, do it better. Yeah, so how can we improve, um, how can you improve your project? Um, so the open source survey from 2017 pointed out that one problem that exists is communication. So um, women is more likely to encounter rudeness, name calling, and welcoming language or content. Uh, so people from underrepresented groups are the ones who suffer most if they, there is no uh, clear code of conduct or uh, guidelines for the communication in the project. And this is really bad because 21% of people who encounter or experience this, they end up leaving the project. So one thing besides the code of conduct is to have nice guidelines for the communication. And one very simple uh, thing to implement, for instance, is just the use of emojis. Just a simple smiley emoji in a conversation can really change the tone of it and make it much better and welcoming for everyone. <laughs> just one more um, interesting information. Uh, is that women uh, are more likely to seek help and ask questions to people that they already know. I do that myself. And that's why it's important in a project to have safe um, and psychologically safe channels of communication for people of underrepresented groups where they can ask and questions safely and um, ask questions about how to get it started in the project, for instance. Uh, Jan is going to talk about more about that. So, uh, let's see what we are doing to improve diversity and inclusion in... Okay, sorry. What did I do? Does anyone know what happened? Is there any, I don't know where to, where to access the settings. So does someone know how to go back? It's just off. Mm. But how? We didn't. Mm. It, it should work. Mm. Let's do lunch break and yeah. give time. Can you, can you uh, yeah, I can just, just yeah, talk. Can you just talk? Can you just open it? Yeah. 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 
So I will just say the, the other part of, uh, that we had to mention, but without slides, so sorry about that. So some of the ways that, uh, let's say, different communities uh, have done to improve diversity and inclusion in open source is Riazgar Summer of Code, uh, that it's a three months internship uh, that uh, people from, uh, that are part of uh, different uh, underrepresented groups uh, can apply for. Uh, last year and even this year, we are part of it. Uh, last year, Jenny and I uh, were, uh, were part of it and we were working on contact apps. Uh, and if you want to know more uh, about the things that we did, we have even a talk tomorrow. And uh, this year we have Jessica and Arati that they have done um, also an amazing job being part of this internship and they will have a uh, workshop uh, today at 3 p.m. So feel free to join to learn, uh, let's say, how to uh, become part of the community and how to start contributing. Another one is the diversity tickets. Uh, since we wanted to improve and have, uh, let's say, people from the other groups, underrepresented groups, to join the conference, they could apply. Um, so uh, Nextcloud, uh, let's say, could sponsor uh, their travel um, expenses. So uh, it was very nice idea to have more people join the conference here. And um, you can find our website uh, and see different. Um, let's see, initiatives that uh, try to improve uh, diversity in open source communities. Uh, you can join us uh, and um, on GitHub, uh, you can find our repo, and if you uh, have another idea that you want to add there, you can just uh, feel free to open an issue. Uh, also, uh, we are doing some events here in Berlin. Uh, the next one is uh, on Tuesday, right? Uh, so feel free to join uh, and um, help us make, uh, let's say, open source communities more diverse and more inclusive. So thank you.